Inside Big Veil TV units. Video number two. I got the old water outlet housing out. Once again, literally, all it is, it sits like this. One bolt, one, two, wiggle, 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 wiggle it pops out. You got a temperature sensor right here. You got to pop the tab, twist it over, and wiggle it out. Install it into the new piece if it's still good. Uh, and then when you go to tighten it up, get you a sequence going. You know, tighten a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up. You know, progressively going until it's sandwiched against the engine block. Because some of the seals, this seal is actually bigger than this seal. And you just don't want it, you know, you just want to do it the right way. You know? I ain't about to take no chances. So with that being said, I got the new housing on. I'm going to clean up some of my mess down here. Some of you know, grab it here. Just, it's time to put the hoses back on. So I got everything kind of snug. I'm going to go down and do the good old-fashioned tightness right now. Torque it down properly. I like to use a small ratchet. That way I don't put too much pressure on these bolts when I go to tighten them up. See now I forgot my torque wrench and torque wrenches are good but you know common sense is also something that prevails in doing work like this too I mean come on why would you put a three quarter inch ratchet on this thing with a 24 inch extension you know we don't do stuff like that we just you know put it snug this is actually the driver I use for my spark plugs too that way I know that when I'm holding like this, I tighten it up, I feel the seat, that's tight. And that's around 15 to 20 inch pounds. Well, 15 to 20 foot pounds, uh, 150 inch pounds, or 1500, I don't know what the torque. I'm not, a, I'm not a calculator, so. But, I'm somewhere up in there. But you get what I'm trying to, you get what I'm trying to say. All right, so right now I'm just checking everything, everything is together. I'm going to start putting these hoses back. We start with the lowest, which is my radiator hose. And what I did with this was go on and cut me a little slit in the container to stick it in. That way I don't lose all of the coolant. And it's also going to help me to mix my new stuff coming in as well. Alright, so let's pop that back on. Alright, that's one. Kind of this stuff up while I'm down here. Have cooling everywhere. I'm trying as much as I can. The upper hose. Let's get that over and in and on. All right. Let's get on. It's a proper. Let me go down and connect the sensor while I'm looking at it. It's always just wise to progressively work your way around your your project. Like I said, I was just compelled to make this video because there wasn't any videos on the tube about this. You got your heater hose. Heater hose is right here. First one here at the bottom. Swing it around. Try to catch it so I don't lose too much. You know, it's going to have to get bled, but try to save it. Oh, my God. Fitting time. I got to go in here. We got to... Modify these fittings. Oh, to be continued. Appreciate you watching. Peace.